In his lab at Northwestern University, John Rogers is at first unassuming in a blue-collared shirt. But you quickly get the sense he's hiding something. An unbuttoned collar here, a rolled-up sleeve there. Over the course of an hour, he reveals he's secretly covered with advanced technology, like a bioelectronic Batman. But these aren't movie props. They're the earliest examples of a major technological leap, a game-changing breakthrough in wearable and implantable devices poised to redesign hospital rooms, eliminate some surgeries, replace pacemakers, and even interface with the human brain. My father has a PhD in physics uh, and spent his uh, career as a geophysicist. Uh, and then my mother is a creative writer, so she's a widely uh, published poet whose emphasis areas and topics uh, tend to be uh, about the natural world. For Rogers, growing up in Houston influenced by science and art provided a certain perspective, an eye for function and appreciation for possibility. Years later, as a researcher at Harvard, he quickly grasped the importance of material science. Sort of surrounded in materials and materials innovations. The field's blend of physics, chemistry, and engineering is responsible for incredible things. For example, Rogers once worked on flexible digital displays that roll up like newspapers. And in fact, when several neuroscientists approached him about this work, Rogers began the research that would change the course of his career. And they said, have you ever thought about taking your flexible electronics and putting it on a brain? We'd like to be able to map neural activity. Electrically mapping the surface of the brain could lead to major breakthroughs in neuroscience, but to do it, you'd need to cover the brain in dense electric circuitry. Rigid silicon microchips just wouldn't work. This is a very powerful technology, but if you take a look at it, it's built on a substrate that more or less has the properties of a plate of glass. And the human brain is soft, curved, and dynamic. A fragile, inflexible silicon chip is simply impractical. But Rogers leaned on his knowledge of chemistry and physics to find a way. The result was a novel, flexible, electronic technology that enabled the creation of advanced bioelectronic devices with seemingly limitless applications. So this particular device is designed to go on the chest of a neonate, in particular premature baby. This heart monitor consists of electronics layered into special polymers. They stretch, flex, twist, and integrate with the human body. The heart monitor adheres to skin using atomic forces instead of irritating adhesives. It captures EKG signals and sends the data to a smartphone or tablet. And it works without batteries. A pad beneath the mattress broadcasts harmless radio waves that the device uses to harvest electricity from the air. This invention alone replaces bulky monitors, wires, and electric leads for the most fragile of patients. But there's more. Another device encases the heart like shrink wrap, stretching and compressing with the heartbeat. It can detect an arrhythmia and correct it before a heart attack occurs. Engineered to last an astonishing 500 years inside the conditions of the human body, it has the potential to replace common pacemakers and eliminate replacement surgeries. The list goes on. There's Roger's sweat analyzer patch, capable of detecting hydration levels and electrolyte loss. It received a major commercial launch in December of 2018 in partnership with Gatorade. And finally, working with the cosmetic company L'Oreal, Rogers invented a battery-free ultraviolet dose detector so small you can wear it on your finger now to gauge your sun exposure. Rogers' device is battery-free and powered by the very UV light it detects. In science, the most powerful new discoveries alter our surroundings, create new opportunities, and change lives for the better. Rogers' technology is doing this right now for cardiac patients, sufferers of brain damage, and all the others who stand to benefit from Rogers' innovations the wearable revolution has just begun.